Richard's like moving. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Finger. All right, so what we're going to do is you're going to first they need to hook up the pressure probe just like they would the temperature probe to the measure that. And so go to main menu. Here we're doing F4. It's the pressure uh, menu. Then we're going to do, since this is Boyle's law, we're going to do pressure versus volume. So that's the F2. And so the first thing we need to do is calibrate the probe. So you hit calibrate, and it's going to ask you to enter the barometric pressure and torque. So what you can do is you can look on weather.com and find out what the temperature, is, the pressure is, and it'll be in inches of mercury, and then they can just convert it to torque. And so, but if you're too lazy and you don't want to do it, you can just type in 760 for torque and hit enter. Now that I ask for the tube volume, and that's the volume of this part right here. And so what this will be is, is you input one milliliter for the tube volume. So you come up here, and you go one, two, yeah. So then what you want to do is you want to make sure that the pressure reading is stable before you hit enter. So it's going to measure, but it means 5.6, but what that really means is it's 760 plus 5.6. It's not 5.6, because else we'll be in a vacuum and we would crush. So you hit enter, and now we're ready. So then you go to display, and we're ready to collect our. <clears throat> so the first thing they need to do is, is move the syringe back to 15, like that, and this will be the zero mark. And then you're going to insert the pressure probe into the syringe and kind of twist it to make sure it's snug fit. And then you're going to wait for it to stabilize and then you measure the pressure that it reads. So what I would recommend is you can press start stop to record it on the computer and then you can transfer it as a file but also have them write it down in their lab notebook. So here it's, it's, it's stabilized somewhat so if you hit start stop it'll ask you the volume you type in 15.0 and hit enter. Now what you want to do is you'll need to move it in like maybe two milliliters at a time. So I'm gonna move it into 13. And then you're gonna see the, the pressure change. So what you wanna do is once it stabilizes, maybe one person can hold the syringe, the other one can hit record the pressure. So you would hit start, stop, and then you would record, okay, 13.0 milliliters and hit in it. And it saves that data. Then you're gonna move in another two milliliters, say to 11 and then wait to the pressure to stabilize and hit start stop and then you type in uh, and they do that all the way up to about five milliliters and then they go back so instead of going forward you just push it back to 17 milliliters and you see it goes negative all that means is you subtract it from 760 to get the adjusted pressure so once it stabilizes, you hit start stop, and you input 17 milliliters, hit enter. And then when you're finished, just go to file options, uh, F3, save, and you can type in, oh, but it's turned off right now. So, or something's not right. Oh, it's not turned on on the computer. And then they can send it to their, there and they can download it. You can stop it. Yeah. Don't worry.